Good morning everybody out there in the YouTube model community. It's September 22nd. This is Chris here coming to you live from the Enchanted Model Car Garage. And uh, today I wanted to post this video on how to do our wood grain bed that uh, so many of you have seen. I've got her mocked up here and uh, I wanted to share that with you before we get started. This is just going to be a real quick, real quick clinic on uh, how to do this wood grain bed and uh, I absolutely love it I think it just turned out perfect so with that being said guys I'm gonna get right to it so uh, this video doesn't go too long and uh, we'll share this with you okay so hope you enjoy the video and uh, as always give me your feedback and your comments and let me know what you think so to get started the first thing I'm gonna do is take off these uh, side panels of the bed as well as my front panel all right so what you're going to do with your uh, your piece that you're going to do the wood grain effect on, whatever it be, is the first thing you do, of course, guys, as you know, we all wash our parts uh, in a mild detergent, and I use uh, lukewarm water. And just a tip that I do, guys, that I don't know if a lot of you have thought about, but I always use distilled water, and I heat it up on the uh, stove or, or in a microwave, and then I rinse my parts. And the reason I do distilled water is because today a lot of the water that comes out of your faucet is contaminated water. It either has high iron content, it has bleaches in it, it has chemicals that uh, the city municipalities put in that water. And a lot of times that can uh, get impregnated into the plastic absorbed in there and it can affect paint jobs, you know, clear coats, it can do all kinds of stuff. So it's just like when you're working on your real car, in your radiator you don't put... Uh, household water because the chemicals that are in the household water will attack the cooling system and cause corrosion so you always use distilled water in the cooling system of a real one-to-one -one car and I rinse all my parts in distilled water because I don't want those chemicals to affect my my plastics my paint jobs so with that being said let's assume that uh, you have already washed your parts which I, I have done the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the store and get you a can of uh, Krylon okay and you, it doesn't have to be Krylon guys whatever you want okay I wanted a light wood grain if you want a darker wood grain go with a little bit darker base coat but e either way you want a tan base coat again I chose this almond uh, almond Krylon color master paint as you guys can see here um, because I was going for a lighter look any paint will do your choice it does not really matter but I do suggest you get a light color not go too too dark so that's the first thing you need to purchase all right is your uh, paint now with that being said take your part I primered this in a gray primer and then I painted it in the Krylon and I gave it two coats of the Krylon paint once you're done with that you're gonna want to get you a clear coat all right for the clear coat again I chose a Krylon clear polyurethane all right uh, you only need to shoot one coat onto this bed, all right? And I have already cleared mine as well. Um, this here is, um, it's not nearly as nice as that stuff Louie showed by um, Rust-Oleum. And, and I plan on getting some of that clear coat. I know that um, Hammer Down, he showed a car he did the other night in that. And I, I absolutely love that uh, polyurethane clear coat. That is some cool stuff, and I plan on buying some of that. So now let's say you've uh, you've primered, so you've cleaned, you've primered. You then put on your base coat of paint, in this case, almond, Krylon. And then you shoot it with your uh, either a satin or a gloss clear coat, whichever you prefer. I prefer a more shiny look. That's why I went with the gloss, not the satin. So once you have that, and I'm going to try and zoom in on that a little bit, bring it up to you. You can see how this bad boy looks, okay? And you, you, you'll see here, guys, I've got a couple little sink marks. Let me see if I can get that in there. Um, I think you can see it right there. i got a couple little sink marks here. This isn't by any means a concourse show vehicle that's going for the Riddler Award or anything. So um, this is going to be the underside of the truck, and, and I really didn't spend my time in filling all those. I wasn't just that concerned about it. All right, the next thing I suggest you do, or the next thing you have to do, is you need to get you some oil-based paints, all right? Again, I went to Walmart. I picked up this uh, package of oil-based paints. It cost me $11. Um, whatever you do, make sure they are oil-based paints. All right, You can go down to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever you want, and pick those up. Ideally, you're looking for a red-brown, and then you're looking for a like a burnt umber, they call it. It's a dark brown. 
you'll see I've already pulled out my two colors and I'll show those to you. Here are our two colors, guys. This in here is called a burnt sienna. This is going to be basically uh, my reddish brown, if you will. This here is called a burnt umber, and this is my dark brown. All right, so I'll bring that up to you. This will be the the second second piece of paint that we use. This is going to be the first oil oil stain paint that we use. Next, you're going to need some artist brushes. Now you can see here on the bench, I have a pack here. Again, I picked these up at my local Walmart. They're for acrylics, watercolors, temperas, and oils. One package covers all those paints, all those medias. Um, I think I gave four dollars for this package there at the uh, Walmart. So I encourage you guys. You're going to have to have that, okay? In specific, what you're going to need is you're going to need this uh, number two flat bristle and you'll let me bring that up to you you guys can see that it is a small flat bristle brush then you're gonna need this one here which they call this a zero or maybe an ought let me pull that clear cap off you can see this alright you can see how fine and pointy that is alright again here's your flat and your ought okay once you have both of those, we can now remove those from our bench. Next thing you're going to need is this is a coarse brush. All right, for that, I went to Walmart again, went over, bought me a toothbrush. I got me a bit of a, it's a medium. I didn't get a super coarse, um, but this is this is what I chose here, guys. All right, and 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 just so you know, I have several of these. I use these for washing my parts to scrub. I have a soft bristle that I use to scrub my bodies with, especially after I wet sand. And then uh, whenever I'm doing my chassis parts and engine blocks, it gets into all those crevices and gets out all that sanding dust. Uh, but for this case, I bought this special medium. And uh, also you can get a coarse, but the, the look I wanted, I, I chose a medium and I'm telling you it came out perfect. So that's what you're gonna need guys. So I hope you guys can see on the bench, again, your two brushes, your coarse toothbrush, and your oil paints, of course you saw the almond spray paint, the clear spray paint. So let's start again. One more time, let's review. Primer, paint in an almond base or a sand color, clear coat it, let it sit overnight. Obviously this thing is dry as all can get out. I'm ready to get to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our, uh, our uh, burnt sienna or like a red brown, okay, depending on what you have in your oil color kit. Then you're gonna then you're gonna take this wide brush. I just dip it in here. Now a lot of guys they can use those uh, painters. Uh, I don't know what do you call them. Those painter palettes, or you can dip this stuff in. But since we're not doing that much, I just use this. Now with that being said, just go in there and paint your planks. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. I'm just gonna paint my planks. Okay. Again, I'm gonna wet my brush. You can do this several times. And then you're just gonna kind of smooth that out. Okay. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. Remember, we're just uh like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect here, fellas. Okay, just make sure you coat that. Now a lot of you who have done this Chevrolet kit you know that this bed has a has these uh, little little strips inside there that would indicate the metal that they used back in the day which we're going to paint those a gold color. Alright again I'm just going to kind of dabble through here. Alright like I said, just kind of smear that on. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> Again, all I'm doing is pulling that paint, getting into those crevices and pulling that paint, okay? Yeah, it's drying a little bit. We don't care. That's what we want, right? Don't worry about it. It actually takes about 24, 48 hours for this to actually fully dry.
telling you guys, this is wonderful. I'm so glad I found that article and read it. Okay. So here's what you got, fellas. I hope you can see that okay. I, no pattern, no nothing. I'm not worried about it. Just go in there and paint, all right? Set your brush down. Grab your little tissue out of your box. Fold it up a little bit and just dab, okay? So all we're going to do is kind of dab. All right, and, and listen, you can you can put this on darker or lighter, however you want, okay? That's the nice thing about being an artist, right? There's no rules to this stuff. Do whatever we want. Now, as you can see, I'm going to do a second coat on that, okay? A lot of guys can see. It seemed like a lot of that came off, right? That's okay. We're going to go in here and do another coat real quick. So here we go. All right, here we go, fellas. All right. All right. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Here we go. Good stuff. Let me get out of that crease there. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so there's the second coat I'm giving it. Okay, now, again, I'm going to take my same tissue, I'm going to wad it back up to a clean side, and all I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to dabble. You don't have to get too carried away, you don't have to get too, uh, too specific here. All I'm doing is kind of cleaning up around that one piece right there. Around the, those would be your metal brackets from the truck for the floor. Do a little bit more right in here. Okay, again, I'm just going to dabble. All right, fellas, you see, that's what you got now, right? Uh, everybody should have something kind of looks like that. And you can do this over and over until you get the pattern you're looking for or the, the lightness or darkness you're looking for. This is exactly what I want, okay? It's what I want. Next, we're going to put on the dark brown. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and cap our red brown. And remember, if you have a red brown, this is going to give you more of a darker, almost maybe like a, an oak color. But what we're going here is more for a pine look, basically, is what I'm looking for. Um, some of you guys like to prefer that real deep red cherry, cherry pecan, or or a maple, or something like that. And you can do that if you like. All right, I'm going to take my uh, mineral spirits here. I'm going to clean my brush so our paint doesn't set up there on it. And that gives us the time to flash dry. All right. All right, fellas. Clean my brush here. Oh yeah, look at that. She's a clean, my friend. She's clean. Now, one thing I do, guys. I don't know if you guys do this or not. And obviously, uh, everybody's got their own way of doing things. I keep a real little bottle of perfectly clear thinner. And after I clean my brushes, I just kind of dabble in here to make sure they're all clean 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 before I put them away all I do is lightly on my rag here clean that and that's it guys I'm gonna set that to the side and you can see I cleaned it right the first time I didn't even darken any see okay so now what's next well now we're gonna take our dark brown and again you don't have to let this sit overnight this is we're doing all this right now 
So now we're going to take our uh, our ot pencil, or excuse me, our our ot brush, and now we're going to dip it in this dark brown. Okay. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to dabble some of that on these. Uh, kind of dabble All I'm doing, guys, is dabbing. All right, I took my paintbrush. I stuck it into the tip of my oil color, and as you saw, I just dabbled, okay? No, you can't go wrong. No rhyme or reason here. You do whatever you want. You take that coarse brush, now you work that thing back and forth. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just I'm working around through there and I'm getting my brush in here. Okay. See how I did that? Look at there, huh? Huh? Looks pretty sexy, doesn't she, fellas? Look at there. Now, you can say, well, gosh darn, that looks a little different than that, doesn't it, huh? Not by much, but a little bit, but that's okay, it's wood. And wood has different patterns all the time, okay? The other thing to remember, we haven't clear-coated this yet, right? We haven't done any of that. We're just sitting here waiting for this to dry now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to let that sit for 24 to 48 hours, guys. It depends on the humidity in your home, in your state, where you're working, what you're doing. And that's what you do. Guys, that's it. There's your wood grain. Okay, I hope you guys can see all that and I hope you like it. Okay, once you're done with that, that's it, guys. You can see uh, I put a little more of this dark brown on this side than I did this one. That's why this side looks a little lighter than that, but you know what? I, I like the variation to me. Um, that's what I'm going to stick with. I like it. If you don't like it, strip it off, do it again, do it however you like. So once this dries now, 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to take and uh, spray this with a uh, my gloss, my semi-gloss if you will. Then I'll go in and I'll detail this these bottom brackets here black to match my frame, just like a bracket. And then I'll go in here and, and I'll, I'll do the lines through here that represent the steel tracks that go down through that bed. So again there's my front side there's the bottom side and it's that easy that's it is that not something fellas huh so look here's what I like I like for you guys to give me some feedback on this let me know if it was helpful did I do a good job did I not uh, could I have given you more information or maybe left some out this is my first time making a clinic video uh, I'm going to sit here at the bench and clean up my supplies and put my stuff back away. And um, I guess that's it, guys. I, I hope you have a good weekend. I know a lot of you are doing that 48-hour build. I chose not to partake because there's no way I can build one in 48 hours. I'm just too I'm too picky and um, too much of a perfectionist that if something went wrong, I'd have to start all over and I don't like it. and It just, it just wouldn't be a good thing, guys. So, again, please, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I know it was a long video. Uh, hopefully I didn't bore you. 
Please give me your feedback. Invite your family, invite your friends, your co-workers. Get them involved in our great community. And uh, please, please give me that feedback. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you didn't skip through the video. Um, I know sometimes they get long and you get rambling and you skip through them because you get bored. Again, thanks everybody. I really, really appreciate the, the, the views, comments. Rate, subscribe, pass it forward, do all that neat stuff. And again, uh, all I'm going to ask that you do is that you, uh, I ask that you uh, share this with your, with your friends, a tip. And uh, I ask that you give me the feedback. Let me know if this video was good or not good. And could I have done more? Can I give you more info? And let's go from there. Have a good weekend, guys. Keep modeling. Mm, have a good one. Bye.